how to use Printful with Wix. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your Printful account with Wix website and how you can take orders on Wix. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Printful.com. Now once you're over here, all you have to do is just simply sign up. Then you can sign up by clicking on the sign up button over here at the top and once you have signed up you can continue so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and if some important information comes up i'll show you how you can basically get it done so click on the sign up button over here now you can either sign up by entering in your email address or you can sign up by clicking on the sign up with Google button. I recommend clicking on this button because it saves you a lot of time and it is very, very easy. And you can sign up onto any website by the single click of a button. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. And once you've signed up, your website should look something like this. And as you can see, I've already signed up. That's why it looks something like this. It's I have basically signed in into my older account. But basically, it's pretty simple. Now, all you have to do is like confirm your email, create a product template, and then connect your store. And I'm going to go ahead and create a product template so you guys can understand. So if you come over here into product templates over here on the left side, you can just simply click on create a new product template. Now, I've created these before, but I'm going to go ahead and create another one just to show you guys how it's basically done. So click on create more products and over here you will see a lot of different categories. So as you can see, we have men's clothing, women's home and living collections, brands, and many, many more. So pick any category you want. I'm going to go choose the men's clothing and just simply pick out the t-shirt that you want. I'm going to pick out long sleeve t-shirt and over here, I'm just simply choosing the black one because usually like when you enter in your design over here, basically once you're going to add your design, make sure that the background of the shirt or the background of the product is a contrast to the, your design color. So basically my design is going to be a white skull. So I need a black background to, you know, make it really pop. So that's why it's important. And black color is in general is really, really nice. You know, any product will look good on a black color. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my product design over here. And you can do that by sim simply going over to your computer and just finding your design. So this one was right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop it over here. So once you've entered in your design, you can go ahead and adjust it however you want. I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on the right side of the chest. And over here, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Don't show again. Yep. I know what I'm doing. So just, you know, position your product however you want. I think this looks pretty nice. And once you have done that, just simply click on continue. And if you want to add some more elements, so you can just go ahead and add some text, clip arts, add designs and premium images. So let me just check out and you can also, you know, print something on the back as well. So let me just check out their, you know, uh, clip art collection over here and maybe we'll find something cool that we can you know add to the back of this shirt so over here at the top let me just go over here let me just see if i can find something if not we'll just leave it like that i'm, I'm trying to find something that is really really cool like this one over here i think this will look pretty good on a sleeve you know what let's just go over here on the left sleeve clip arts and down below where is it where is it here we go the bro fist i think this looks pretty good over here let me just you know in, increase the size of it i can't really see it because i think it's in black color uh let's change the color to white as you can see over here and we'll rotate it can we like rotate it transform uh okay so we can rotate it so let's just rotate it to something like that and then just position it over here yeah that looks nice okay or you can just position it over here at the top actually yeah that looks pretty good okay once you have done that just simply click on continue and just save product template so now you have a product template you can just simply go ahead and click on add to store and then you can connect your store so let's just go ahead uh, actually not right now let's just select all these templates that we have and we'll click on add to store yes connect the store and once we're over here choose a platform and over here let's just select uh where is wix yeah here we go here's wix let's just simply click on connect and over here scroll down below they're basically showing you how you can do that just scroll down below and just simply click on connect to wix but before you do connect to wix you have to install this app over here which is called wix app market 
So you have to install this app. You can find that in the left side of the menu and click add apps and find Wix store app and tap plus add to site. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to go over here onto their Wix website and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Continue with Google and you can like make a store for these products. But right now I'm just giving you an example. So I'm going to choose. So I'm going to choose this one over here as an example basically you don't have to like you know choose any website you have to like get a proper website okay get a proper website so that you can like go ahead and do that so i'm gonna go ahead and edit the website and once you're over here onto your website you can edit your website however you want accordingly to the products that you are selling so like you know add some of the product photos and videos and like add a product background change the text a little bit and stuff like that so once you've done with the website just come over here onto add apps over here on the left side click on add apps wait a couple of seconds for the market to load up and once you're over here simply search for store app over here as you can see the wix stores is over here just simply click on over here and simply click on add to website now as you can see the app is installing onto this website and now once it's done you can just go ahead and you know connect your store let's wait a couple of seconds and while it's doing that let's just go over back to our website and see how everything is looking so now once it's done that all we have to do is click on connect to wix and then the application will be connected and as you can see it's done and we can go ahead and start selling so click on get started like over here you can add some more products and you can add payment method and shipping rules as well you can add those the details however you want you can like choose electronic pay or cash on delivery electronic wallets debits or credit card however you like it and you can add your own shipping rules as well so let's just go over here and click on connect to Wix and over here just choose the website that you want. So this is the website that I wanted it to you know connect to and let's just select this website and once it's selected click on add to site and over here just simply click on continue. It'll ask you to connect your store simply click on connect store to this email and once it's done you have added your store. Now let's go ahead and add some products. So simply click on add products my product template click on the product that you want to add. And once it's done, just simply click on proceed to mockups, proceed to details, proceed to pricing. And over here, just simply add your own pricing. So you can increase by whatever you want. So and once you have set your own pricing, let me just, you know, lower these up a little bit because these are pretty heavy prices. Like I only wanted like 50. And as it goes up, you can like, you know, increase the prices as well because the larger they are the more the fabric they're going to use so you can like you know have to increase the prices as well so once you have you know increased the prices you can just simply click on submit to store and over here as you can see it's adding to the products to our website give it a couple of seconds so that the product is you know updated and as you can see it's done and now we can go ahead and view this product in wix so let's just click on view in wix we looked everywhere for this page but it was not found which is kind of weird let me just go over here onto the wix dashboard real quick so over here this was my you know website let me just click on edit this website over here let me just refresh the page so i can see if it is added over here i mean like so it is added as you can see over here it is added then we all we have to do is like you know uh set up a payment method and set up a shipping method and then i think the page will be up so as you can see it's pretty it's pretty decent so yeah that's basically it like you can go ahead and like you know add these different details set up a region and stuff like that so let me just simply click on get paid and over here as you can see we have two checkouts and you have manual payments so you can like choose your confirm your location and then you can like choose the credit card that you want like you have visa master american express union pay and jcb discover visa many many more you can go ahead and connect your card by clicking on this button over here and then you can like connect manual payment if you want to and once you've done that just simply enter in your destination and location how you want to ship it and then your store will be all set and then you can go ahead and accept payments through wix by using your printful account so that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure you hit this like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye